Hello, I'm Lucas from Electrotronic. Today I would like to present you a quick example how to program Scilab Series 2 device with SGANG. SGANG is a standalone GANG programmer from Electrotronic, which allows parallel programming of up to 8 targets in standalone and PC interactive mode. During this example, I will use the following hardware. SGANG programmer with universal socket board connected to second port. In the socket I have Scilabs EFR32FG28, wireless system of chip device and external flash from Micronix connected via SPI. SGANG is connected to PC with a USB-C cable and have external power supply. Now let's start the configuration. First choose the device. can change the interface and the speed, select uh, the right port and right now we can verify access to the device. Now uh, I will add the external flash, it's Micronix, the maximum speed is uh, 20 MHz, it's the maximum speed of Series 2 device SPI. I'll select the pin out of SPI have a code file with custom extension EF for external flash. That's all for external flash. Now open the code file. I have a free code file, so uh, I will open the first one with a bootloader. Next, uh, I will append uh, the next code file with interoperability test and the code file for external flash with custom extension EF. Now let's have a quick look at the security feature. Go to setup and the secure engine uh, dialog. Here you can uh, load the debug port enable the trust zone feature, generate a debug unlock token, you can load the keys to the device, if you select the key, you will see the value of a public key and the info which type of key you have loaded. You can select command key, sign key, uh, get a bootloader key and uh, you can also load a uh, bullet tamper configuration from JSON file. At the bottom left corner, there is a button for a read security feature from the base. You will see the status, status of the background token, value of keys. Wall data will also be shown in my new window. First tip, I will program internal flash of the device, so go to setup, memory option and select flash memory all. If you want to load any of security features selected in secure engine dialog, like for example keys to the device, select memory protection enable. I won't do that for this example. To start programming sequence, press auto program. This will erase internal flash and load code file to the flash. Internal flash is now programmed. In the next scenario, I will program internal and external flash. To do that, select all memory in memory option dialog. Auto program button will start programming sequence. As Scilab Series 2 device have no quad or opta SPI, programming external flash through SPI take much longer than programming in internal flash. After nearly one minute, the second scenario will be over and the internal and external flash will be programmed. In the last scenario, I will show you programming internal flash in a standalone mode. First, in the long mode configuration, I will change address range to flash memory only. 
Now go to Standalone Image Setup and create and save image to program. You can change the behavior of a Go button and give a name for your setup. Then press OK to save both configuration and Go file to program. As the last step, go to Setup, Go button option and enable green go button. Escal is now ready to operate in standalone mode, so I will disconnect power and USB. And Escal only need the power. After reboot, press go button to start programming sequence. And now internal flash is programmed. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us.